<laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't remember this, but I, I actually have a witness. My, uh, my <laughs> cinematographer was with me <laughs> at dinner. Anyway, uh, he was down to Los Angeles to meet with Q, who happened to be Quincy Jones. So that's how we got together, uh, you know, decades after. Because we were all, three of, all of us were pioneer journalists, Asian American faces. And Chris, Chris Chow was the first one to break three for all of us uh, on camera. <laughs> So anyway, I approached it as a, uh, in no offense, Ben, I thought it'd be a nice little 20 minute short film. <laughs> and kind of like a really fun, you know, rock and roll, entertaining. And then I started to do the deep dive into the research and uh, what journalists should do. And uh, then I, every single interview I did with sources, the sources inside Rolling Stone who worked with Ben, uh, in the community and uh, in the music industry, on and on and on and on. Every single interview was a revelation to me. And I actually blocked myself out from, I didn't want to see anything, I didn't want to read anything, because I didn't want to be subliminally influenced by anything. Um, of course I knew Almost Famous, one of my favorite movies, but I didn't want to read or anything. And then a couple, two, three years later, after I've done the initial source interviews, I took a deep breath and I started to look, and I couldn't find anything. Of course, Ben's written some great books, even an autobiography. But it was the, the challenge for me was to connect dots to his Rolling Stone life and back to his personal life. And the the uh, the and you found it obviously. You found it because he connected the dots through his extraordinary archives, which he he gave to us for the film. Uh, that treasure trove of archives, which we're still going through for an extended version of the documentary one day, <laughs> but uh, and an educational version too, by the way, to teach uh, aspiring journalists and mid career what it really took, what how Ben approaches and, journalism. And was that it? Was that it? And you said, okay, I've got to put this together now. Yes. Yes. And it yes. all came together. I just want you to just, know. We ended up, I ended up, it's just, it's just, I don't know what happened, but we have a once in a lifetime, I call it a once in a lifetime team that came together. And uh, if you count the credits, just the credits alone, there's probably 450 people have been involved in making this film with us. So it's, it's been truly remarkable. And they are all still with us today as I'm on the stage. Just 12 years older. Paid, probably. Right. <laughs>